Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back uh, to Cannon Fodder. It's Friday. Friday means uh, it's Cracker Jack. No, sorry, it's Friday means it's uh, Easy Talk. That's what it, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm showing my age, isn't it? <laughs> Cracker Jack, Cracker Jack, Ben. Yeah, it's Easy Talk making its long awaited return. And we're, yeah, we're waiting. We're, we've got, let, let me get this right. We've got the Enforcer, we've got the Geezer, and we're waiting for the Don. A bunch of criminals. Bunch of criminals. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lineup for Crime Watch UK, doesn't it? You said you wouldn't tell no one, Alex. You meant to keep something secret, you know. <laughs> Britain's most wanted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's going to be a short show, uh, as we know. Let your arse not back in Prem. I can't believe the Premier League started again. It's gone so very quick. All this, this break and everything else there, but um. Yeah, we've got the crazy game back together again. And um, let's see how far we get on this one without any, um, yeah, criminals. Yeah. <laughs> Criminology. <laughs> Criminology. That's the ideology I've got. <laughs> Just see you guys on the other side of this music intro. Yes, yes, indeed. Welcome back to uh, yeah, Cannon Fodder, the, 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 the first easy talk of the new season. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. But anyway, before we get into this one, guys, make sure, as usual, that you do subscribe to Cannon Fodder TV and hit the bell notification button so you can see almost, almost all well, the breaking news right here. And also come into the live chat as well. There's the geezer. How you been? How have you been? I'm good, mate. Yeah, not bad. Thanks for having me on. I'm, yeah, I feel really privileged to be here. Um, really looking forward to this season. I think it's going to be very, very different to last season. And we're going to have a good chat and a good debate here, I think. And you've got some proper geezers on. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, put the, we'll put the world to rights. <laughs> <laughs> right. John the geezer. Evening, evening, all gooners. Great to be back and feeling really positive, Alex. You know what I mean? After last season, that was like a terrible start. This season, I'm really feeling we're going to come out for iron. Nice one. Nice one. Uh, Enforcer, have you seen the all or nothing? Do you know what, mate? I, I haven't had time yet because of work restraints, but I'm going to watch it over the weekend. But I, I know snippets of it. I've seen snippets of it. So I know the background of the first three episodes. Do you know what I mean? They cover yeah. quite a lot of stuff in the first three episodes. So, yeah. 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 Um, can I ask you a question? Um, of course. Do these two words go together? Arsenal and expectations. Do they go together? No, uh, no? Not right now. All right, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> they, did, they, they did in the past, but I don't think they do right now. Okay. Because okay. we're kind of shell-shocked from last season, aren't we? So it's a case of this season, it's suck it and see, basically. Yeah, but I think yeah. because of what we've brought in and what we might bring in, there's still a chance of bringing others in. It could be a very interesting season for us. Yeah. Um, so, John. Um, yes, mate. What's the highest position you reckon Arsenal can reach? Well, do you know what? I, I might be getting carried away here, Alex. But I, but I think top four, we can do it. If, if we come out firing, I know these are pre-season games and everyone says, yeah, it's only training. To me, they count a hell of a lot. Watch last season's preseason; it was absolutely awful. I think we lost to Ibs, lost to everyone, couldn't score. Totally John, isn't it? We are scoring goals. To me, that is so important. You know, it's giving these fellas confidence. I don't care who they're playing; they are getting confidence. And uh, yeah, you know what, Alex? Oh, I'm saying we might even nick second. I don't think we will win the Premier League. I don't think yeah, we've got Jim. enough. We ain't got enough depth. If we had the starting 11 every week, week in, week out, the same lot could make it. We might have a chance. But uh, realistically, nah. Second, I think we can do it. Second, you know what I mean, Alex? I'm optimistic, mate. I'm going for that. Uh, Beth, for you, what's the highest position you reckon Arsenal can, 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 can get? I mean, uh, again, it's it depends on what 11 we put out. I would love to think that we could challenge for the title. But realistically... I think we have to say top four. 
Um, but anything can happen, especially with the players we've got now. And I agree with John. You've got to see. I didn't get overexcited about preseason. What I'll say about preseason is I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this preseason, but I wasn't, you know, going to the top of my house on top of the roof, go come on, ask and all that, building things up for us just to collapse. I I was happy. It pleased me. Preseason pleased me. I saw us gelling and playing like a team, and I was happy with that. And what I like about Arsenal now that we're bringing in. We've got players who can play in multiple positions. So not only now is it, it's not like Zinchenko is a backup for Tierney. He's competition for Tierney. That's a big difference. And yeah, I want yeah. players to have comp because you know what? When you've got competition, I mean, we're sportsmen. We've all done sport in our lives at some point. Yeah. When you've got competition, you try harder. Yeah, there's no, yeah. you know, that's the simple, the simple of it. You try harder because you want your place, and that's what I want with Arsenal. I don't want Zinchenko to replace Tierney. I don't want such and such to replace someone else. I want them to go. Hold on, you want to play for this team? You need to pick your game up, and that's mm. what's exciting me this season. But as I say, pre-season, I enjoyed it because, as John, as John alluded to last season, we weren't beating anybody. Yeah, that's a good point. That, that's it, you know, uh, Enforcer, whilst you're talking about Tierney, are you not worried about, you know, the constant injuries that he's just getting over season after season? Of course, mate. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love him as a player, and I've got to be totally honest with you, right? We need to check this boy's boots, and I think we need softer turf at, we need softer turf at the Emirates because as soon as he treads on a field, he seems to get injured, and it's the same with old Mr Partey. Do you know what I mean? But... This, if he's fit and he thinks he's got to compete with Zinchenko, you'll see a different Tierney will go to a different level, I think. Yeah. And for you, John, uh, I know this wasn't part of the topics, but, you know, you can't overly concerned about Tierney. Uh, well, I am concerned know. about Tierney with all these injuries. And um, I'm actually hearing some stuff about his like, mental health on the, on the uh, box yeah. the other day. I'm a bit concerned about the fella. He's a young lad, you know what I mean? And like I said to you, Alex, these young lads are vulnerable. We just think they're superhuman, fine, they can do anything like, you know, Iron Man or Batman, whatever. They're humans. They've got feelings. They're just like mm. just like us. They've done, totally. well at They've done well at football, do you know what I mean? But they're young kids. They need love. They need us fans behind them. I'm worried about a bit worried about his mental state now. What I'm hearing, you know, and yeah. the injury is getting him down. I reckon it's got to, isn't it? He just wants to play football, and he loves he loves Arsenal. He's he's a normal working class bloke from Motherwell. Yeah. I think his mum and dad just normal ordinary people. And good luck, the lad. He's he's made it big time, you know. And I want to see him do well. And you know, like Des says. Now we should be looking at like for like players. Tierney's out, and you know the other the other fellas in. We want twenty two players as good as each other, not not backups. That's how you win premierships. They've all got to be as good as yeah. each other. As, can I as can as I just ask one question going on what John just said? Sorry, Alex. Right? Is Arteta the kind of manager like you brought up there, John? That let's say Tierney's having. Mental health issues, which is serious, isn't it? I mean, let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, is he the yeah. kind of manager, though, to put his arm around someone and say, "Come on, we'll get you through this"? Do you think? Well, well, before John responds, Des, I don't want to give any spoilers with all or nothing, but they have got a got a guy who does one to one development with. Oh, um, with right. Players. So I don't right, want to okay. give him away, but they've got that person there to speak to the players on a one to one basis. You know. Oh, cool. And, cool. and also, there, 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 there's some trouble with um, Tavares. So yeah. the guy, um, Carlos Cuesta, he he speaks to the players. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, sorry, Des. Uh, John, John, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Re regards Tierney, from going back to that, I don't want to spoil it, he, he's got a friend there living yeah. with him, helping him. Right. So fair, fair really, enough, guys. Fair really enough. Good. That's better than that's any sort of outside mentor, if you ask me. 
And there, that, answers my, that, that, that answers my question, Danny. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. John, no spoilers, mate. No spoilers. No, no, sorry, man. No, oh, no, John, no. John, genuinely, I'm going to watch it anyway. So if you want to do spoilers, lads, no, honestly, no, I no. don't mind. No, no, no. Like... <laughs> no, sorry, man. <laughs> Um, is is Gabriel Jesus the player that Arsenal have have needed for the best part of five or ten years? Is he the missing link, Des? Is he the one? Hell yes! Hallelujah! That's all I can say. Praise <laughs> the Lord! Right? No, what? I mean, end of the day, right? The end of the day. Arsenal were given this guy the opportunity to be a number one striker, which he didn't have at Man City. Okay, so this boy, right? Lad, whatever, he's going to grab it with both hands. And I, I genuinely believe, right, I genuinely believe that he will challenge whoever, and I'll just use two examples, he will challenge Salah and Haaland for the Golden Boot this season. That's how confident I am in him. Um, I hear a lot of people, because I go on a lot of other chat things, and I hear a lot of people saying, oh, if, if, if Jesus gets injured, we're scuppered, or, you know, we're in the mud. But hold on a minute. Let the lad get injured first before you start doubting him. Do you know what I mean? Because I genuinely believe, and here's a little twist on it, Alex. I genuinely believe that this lad is so strong and he's so quick on the ball. Other players from other teams are going to get injured trying to injure him. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. Do you, do you know what I mean? Do you know? So give give the boy give the boy a chance. Give the boy some props because preseason nothing was stopping him. You know. Yeah. And I, I know everybody said, oh, it's only pre-season. I wish we could chuck that in the bin. I wish we could chuck that saying in the bin, yeah? Mm. It was a football match at the end of the day. It doesn't matter whether it's pre-season or season. This boy is going to go far. And the thing is, I think you're going to... I mean, you know I'm Odegaard's, one of Odegaard's biggest fans, Alex. <laughs> yeah? yeah? But you'll see a better Odegaard because he's got a player he can pass the ball to now that can score, yeah? And... He'll get a lot of assists, but I'm going to let John have a say on it as well. But that's how, I, yeah, I'm quite passionate about it. I think it's a good thing. John. Jesus, yeah, well, at the beginning, I was like, what we, what we doing with Man City rejects? But then he comes along. He's, he's on the yeah. flyer, mate. I, I'm, yeah. I'm with Des here. Yeah. I'm with Des. I don't think I've been that excited as a signing for a long, long time. You know what I mean? It, it's been rare, isn't it, at the Emirates to see someone that's brought a bit of excitement to a buzz to the old fans you know um i don't want to sort of preempt this because you, know, you make too many judgments and it all goes up in the air but what yeah, i'm I seeing <laughs> you know what I mean? but what i'm seeing he can go all the way like des says and uh you know challenge kane for like premiership's number one striker you know uh yeah yeah, yeah hopefully he's gonna He'd bang them in, you know. Twenty five. Alex, what? What do you think, Alex? What do you think? Um, you, you, I mean, you can see the quality. The guy has got quality. Yeah. Um, yeah. I did a segment the day before yesterday where Smith Rowe said he's been on the phone to his mates. He can't believe how good Gabba Jesus is, yeah, how yeah. sharp he yeah. is. And yeah, I think yeah. one of the goals that he scored, he started the move, and he ended it by scoring the goal. So you can see the quality that like, he's got there. I'm yeah. going to probably disagree with you slightly, uh, Des. You know, you, about the, um, the preseason. The preseason is only the preseason. The, the business end starts tonight. And it uh, ends yeah, I, I, yeah, I get where you're coming from. I get yeah. where you're coming from. But I will say this Arsenal are blessed because we have Jesus, we have um, Mo. Yeah. <laughs> all we need now, we need to sign a player with this. All we need now is to sign a player with the name Buddha, and we've got the set. <laughs> Or Moses. Yeah. Or Moses, yes. Moses, yes. We've got no, the set. No Judas. No. No Judas. No, exactly, exactly, Johnny. Exactly. Uh, no Judas. You know what? Let's go into the live chat uh, before we get into the last time. It, it is a short show because yeah, it's not going to be in action a little bit later on. And we've got CM War Games. Richard. Richard II says... Go, Alex. What about my contributors? What about go, Enforcer? Go, the geezer. What's going on? What's going on? I'm only joking. And the moderator for the evening show is Ashley D. Welcome, gooders, to the Friday Night Cannonball TV and the Crazy Gang. Oh, here's the team. Ramsdale. Cool. 
Why? Brace yourself. Zinchenko, <laughs> <laughs> Party, Shaka, Saka, Erdegaard, Martinelli, Jesus, Sub Turner, Tina Turner. T oh, Tina is on the subs bench. Cedric, Holding, El Nani, Lokonga, Nelson, Pepe, and Ketia. There's very quickly, Nico Pepe. Um, I feel sorry for the kid. Uh, I don't think we play him in the right position, but I think he's going to go. And if he goes anywhere, I think he's going to go to Newcastle. Just to give you a quick answer, he'll go to Newcastle. Yeah. Because yeah. I know John, we're on borrowed time. Yeah. John, for you, Nico Pepe? Pepe, uh, yeah, best if he leaves, I think. I think he's been mugged off, you know. So, I think he's just got stale at Arsenal. It's not really his fault, some of it. So, yeah, he'd be better if he moved on, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Carl, uh, Liverpool supporter, says, uh, so what, your top four prediction? Oh, uh, what, top four teams? Yeah, I think that's what he means, I think. Right. Yeah. Uh, do you want to go first, John? Yeah, okay. Then this... <laughs> Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham and uh, Man City, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put money, right, on right. put money on that. Oh, yeah, put, put a couple of quid on that one, John. <laughs> yeah, I should do, isn't it? Yeah, accumulate. You get, you get good odds. Um, isn't it? My, my top four. Win it. Yeah, yeah. Go for it, son. You know, you get a thousand to run, right. probably. You never know, do you? No, nah, it's worth a bet. Why not? You know, why so not, my, man? Lester did it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I might even go Arthur's with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're doing. I'll have a look later. <laughs> <laughs> so my top four in no particular order is Liverpool, Man City, Arsenal, not Tottenham. Uh, I think it'll be between Newcastle because they've spent well and West Ham. I think West Ham have still got something about them that they could get top four. Wow! So nope. I don't want the London KFC to get anywhere near the top four, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? The London Des chickens. There's got to mention Tottenham or Chelsea. I like that, Des. No, no, I couldn't, mate. No, I'd have to go and wash my mouth out, John. I'd have to go and wash my mouth out with hair soap. Do you remember doing that? Yeah, I'll be on that dial-up phone, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, oh, swear words. John, you're just saying swear words, mate. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Go careful now. Go careful. Uh, right, back in the live chat, um, we've got CM again. There's a Vieira and Petit uh, hugging uh, on Palace pitch uh, memories. And Carl says, uh, one Liverpool, two Man City, three Chelsea, and four Arsenal. That's his uh, desired top four. Uh, Carl says, again, uh, Arsenal two, I nearly fell off my chair. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Very funny, Carl. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> we might be top mate Carl don't you worry <laughs> uh, City 1 uh, Liverpool 2 Arsenal 3 and Tottenham oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry I just swore sorry, I just swore <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's your show we'll let you off it's your show <laughs> <laughs> and Angie the first lady of Canafoy TV is in the live chat good evening good evening Angie that says uh, even Canafoy TV and sorry the first lady cannot be on the big screen uh, not there uh, next week next week Angie nice one uh, any more we've got Noah who says oh, what is the lowest finish that you would be happy with the lowest finish there's <laughs> what's the lowest finish now I don't want to be rude because I know I'm a guest on this show but do I really need to answer that question no, I don't um, lowest finish well it's, champ it's Champions League or nothing it's the lowest finish isn't it exactly exactly, exactly. that's it yeah what kind of question is that Noah yeah <laughs> yeah could we please have sensible questions in the chat please we're on borrowed time I've just wasted my breath. John, do I need to go to you or should I move on? Well, second, mate. First, really, isn't yeah, it? Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Realistically, top four, always top four. All right. Uh, Carl says um, so, Arsenal going to win the Golden Boot and finish second. You forgot about the FA Cup. There's. The FA Cup. I didn't. Who mentioned the FA Cup? Oh, right. Um, sorry. No, because I think we. I tell you why I haven't thought about the FA Cup, lads. To be honest with you, and this is honest with you, because I I'm pretty sure we're going to win the Europa Cup, the Same Europa League. 
I think we're going to win the Europa League this year. And I haven't even, I've got to be honest, I haven't even considered the FA Cup. Because I suppose if you think about it as well, the the FA Cup is pretty (laughs) random, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. if Southampton yeah. can knock you out of the FA Cup, anybody can, and not you know, and Nottingham Forest. I mean, anybody can knock you out of the FA Cup. Do you know what I mean? So I'd rather win the Europa Cup because then you're still back into Europe as well. It's your yeah, other doorway yeah. to Europe. John, like what says Banter FC back again. You'll get top four. Forget about this season. Celebrate your wins. I don't quite get that Banter FC back again. Top four. I'm not sure what he's on about there, but at the end of the day, top four, Arsenal should always fry for that. I think Omri said that the other day, didn't he? That, yeah. that should be our minimum target, and uh, we'll be there this season. And like Dead said, oh, I'm pretty confident we will be in that Europa final. There you go. And he says, uh, Arsenal will be, it will be biblical. <laughs> oh, believe it. The waters will part. You wait, mate. I'm enforcing that one. The waters will part. Simple as that. We'll all go and get baptised. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so on to the last segment. Uh, predictions. Grab your predictions for, for tonight's game. I'm going to go 2-1 Arsenal. It's going to be a tough game, but 2-1 Arsenal. So you're going for the sta- you're going for the standard result, are you, Alex? The standard. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to copy you because I think we'll score four goals in the first twenty minutes. So I'm going to go. Goals. I'm going to my actual score though. All joking apart, I think three-one yeah. to Arsenal. Okay, all right, reasonable. John Geezer. Well, I'm going to stick with one nil in the Arsenal. One nil. He's old school. He's old school. That's <laughs> Savior. Jesus, Jesus is going to bang it in the net in the first fifteen minutes, and oh. we just shut up shop. <laughs> Can I just, Alex? I'm I'm just going off subject just just for a second. But you know Arteta, right? You know all these people Arteta in Arteta out, right? If I just want to make a quick point, I'm not. I'm not Arteta out, but I will say this. If Arsene Wenger was doing what Arteta's doing today, no one would have said a word. No one. They would have just let Arsene get on with it. So all I can say to you people, let Arteta get on with it. And let's yeah, just I'm enjoy sure. it. And let's and let's back the team this season. Back them. Because they need the support. So back them. It's as simple as that. 100%, Des. 100%. Thank you, John. I, was, Thank you. I wasn't always his number one fan. Still ain't. But if you're a gooner, you've got to get 100% behind him because you can see he loves Arsenal and he, yeah. he's, doing, he's doing his best, you know. Exactly. Uh, Give the boy a chance, man. Exactly. You know. It's all off his back and let him do it. And I'm not, I'm not going to ask you, Alex, because I know how you feel, right? And, and it'd be like going over old ground again, wouldn't it? But you can you can understand where I'm coming from, can't you? Oh, of course, of course. But I've never yeah. I've never jumped on a bandwagon about Arteta in. No, no, you haven't. No, I'll no. back you up on that. I, I think um, I think we have a right to have an opinion. We have a right to criticise. Uh, but also, we have a right to support. Yes, yeah, of course, of course. I'm I'm all for that. But this is the time when people should be all coming. We're a fan base. We should all be coming together, and we should be like support the team. Yeah, criticise. I mean, I'm all for praise when you know praise when it's due, criticise when it's due. But end of the day, it's a fresh start. This is a fresh slate, so there's let's start positive. There's can I ask you a question before I, uh, I get um, John's prediction. Um, yeah, this this season that's just just starting now. If he yeah. does not get top four, do you yeah. think his job might be in jeopardy? I don't. The only way I can answer that, Alex, is it should so. be. I know. So. I don't. I don't think so, but it should oh, be. Right. Really? Do you, get really? What, do you get what I mean? Yeah, because it's his team now. The reason it, this is Arteta's team. I mean, I know he still wants to bring a few in, but this yeah. is Arteta's yeah. team. But I don't think he will lose his job because um, he's well supported by the board. Yeah. When yeah. I say he should do, I'm then sticking up for the fans, right? It's kind of like a double-edged sword, I know. But I'm then sticking up for the fans that say, well, he should have gone a season ago, I suppose. But if he doesn't get top four, we've spent nearly 400 million quid and probably going to spend a lot more. And if we've got if we've got nothing to show for it, 
has it been a waste of time? I mean, you, you could go backwards and forwards with this, me and you. It's like a game of tennis. And even John, John the geezer there. It'd be like a game of tennis tennis because we've all got an opinion on it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I, I, I think if he doesn't get either a cup, top four, or challenge, or even top, top challenge for the title, he's in trouble. And he won't be in trouble from the board. He'll be in trouble from the fans. Surely he could he could probably say I, I'm just again I'm just uh, making no. an assumption. Here. He could yeah, probably yeah, say, well, "I've just had his players together for just one season. Give me another season to prove literally what his players can do." Because no, this... I don't think you can do that. Then. No, I... no. I, I, I it's all about enough. Alex. I'll tell you what it comes down to: if he doesn't succeed this season, and, and John the Geezer might agree with me, right? It's how much you can put up with, how much you can tolerate. It's all about being. T- it's all about being tolerant. From from the yeah. fans or the board? from the fa- from the fans' point of view, it's all about being tolerant. Yeah, from from the board's point of view, Arteta's their man. Yeah. So you've got yeah. you, you're between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. And the, I, the board ain't I've getting got... rid of him any time soon. Yeah. Yeah. The fans fans will be on his case, rightly so, if he doesn't, you know, perform this season with the team. No, but but from my... <clears throat> Right, go on, Des. Go on, Des. I was just going to say one more quick thing. From my heart, right, from my heart, to you guys, I just want Arsenal, I just want the best for Arsenal, whatever that may be. I just Same. want the best. But, John, should, should should the board listen to the fans? If there's, like, discourse amongst the fans, why should the, the board listen to the fans? They should the board listen. should listen to the fans, but they, they don't. We're expandable, you know. To them, it's money, Alex. They ain't gonna listen. They ain't gonna listen to us. Look at that demonstration last season. It, it oh, yeah. didn't. Yeah. Didn't really. I mean, how many times did you go down, Alex? You went down. I don't know how many times, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I went play, on, the, on the official yeah. protest and the unofficial protest. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, fair play, Alex. To you, mate. I will. Doing... Uh, yeah, fair play, Alex. And I will say this, John, the legend. Right, I do believe that Arsenal need a fan representative. In the meetings, or, yeah. or or a collection a collection of fans, it doesn't have to just be one. It could be a handful of fans as a representative of the fans, so they know how we feel and how we want to express ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that. Something. If you're a member, you you get voted in. If you're a season ticket holder, you get voted in. It's like an handful of people, but it's not the best sort of thing in the world. Do you know what I mean? I it's think not very democrat- it's not very democratic. No, it's not very democratic, is it? It ain't, it ain't <laughs> really. But no. uh, like I say, Des, I don't think they care what the fans, that's my opinion. I, I don't think they ever want the fans to have too much say, mate, to be honest. It's all well, no, but it, 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 it would be good if you could have someone there to say, this is how we feel about this. And, you know, even well, yeah, just well, air your views, well, you know? But it would be, but they've got sort of hand-picked representatives from the season ticket holders. You can sort of vote for them in, I think. You know, but, oh, uh, cool. Yeah, it, it's something, if you're, a, if you're a season ticket holder, you can go up and like represent the fans. I, I'm not 100% sure. But it, it's still, that ain't the best sort of policy because no. they... No, they, no. They sort, they sort of treat you, do you know what I mean? You get club class and all this. <laughs> when you, you, you sort of kind of get a bit bribed if you ask me, do you know what I mean? It's not the yeah. best thing, but uh, to me, they, they, they have no interest in the fan. That's my opinion. Uh, uh, under Cronky, I don't think they will. It's just a tick box sort of operation. But they, they, gotcha. definitely, they definitely should have. A, I mean, they've got the Arsenal Supporters Club, haven't they? You don't really well, see I'll... them getting too involved these days. I've got the answer for it. Right, yeah, you send, you send in, you send in criminal Eltel. He'll sort it. <laughs> he, he, he would. I tell you what, you've heard the song. We shall not be moved. He yeah. wouldn't budge. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's what they want. Criminal they want Eltel would sort it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. They would. He, he, he'd, be a, he'd be in a meeting going, this is what I want, this is what I'm gonna do, this is what I want you to do. And then as he as he's leaving, I'm off to do a bank job, I'll see you next month. All right. <laughs> That's the thing that they should be listening to, Des, isn't it? And, you know, exactly, exactly, mate. People, the common people like us 
legend. People that go week yeah. in week out. That's who they should yeah. be listening to. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, exactly. Couple more comments. Um, got one from uh, uh, Ange. She says, uh, "Agree, Arteta has to deliver, and I back him." And one from Nomad who says, uh, "Forget top four. If Spurs top Arsenal this season, he's off." I don't think so. Nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. He ain't going nowhere. No, 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 no. no, no. He's got a permanent parking space in the ground. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> you know what? We've come to an end on this Easter talk. Like I said it's going to be a short one. And just to think we had the Enforcer, the Geezer, and no Don. The Don <laughs> Don's always <laughs> late, though, isn't he? Don's always he is, late. He is. He is. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, so, uh, John the Geezer, uh, thank you for making your, your return on the uh, on the channel. Thank nice you, and nice to meet Des, yeah, it's always a privilege. Great Andres. to meet you, mate, great to meet you. It it's a privilege to represent Arsenal and the old cannon for the TV, you know. Nice one. Nice like one. we say, we just want the best for the Gooners. Yeah. Our opinions don't mean nothing, really. <laughs> yeah. We like to think they do. Des, can I ask you a quick question? So, how would you feel about, you know, the, the, the biggest channel, Arsenal channel yeah. out there? Yeah, yeah. Would you like them to influence Arsenal? No. Why not? Because they're not the common person. They're not the common fan. Mm. Not now. Oh, no. Don't don't get me wrong. I watch their content, right? I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. But I watch their content because I, I like to keep in touch with everything. I watch you because I like to keep in touch with everything. Yeah. But to actually. No, it's glorified. They're glorified, and I just think they wouldn't represent they wouldn't represent us as fans properly. Mm. I really don't, and that, that that's the only way I can answer your question. I I honestly think that me and John as John as an example, 40, 43 years, right? How many years for you, John? 56 this year, uh, Dej. 56. If you, ain't, if, you ain't learned, if you ain't learned something about Arsenal in 56 years and 43 years, and however, and you're quite a few years yourself, Alex. 55. Yeah? 55, yeah? There you go. If you haven't learned how you feel about your club in that time and can't express it in a way that everyone can appreciate, you're not a representative of the club. And, I, and that's what I think that channel would have a problem with. Mm. They wouldn't represent it in the way that me and John want it represented, or you even want it represented. Is that a fair? Is that a fair comment? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I agree. I think you need a fair few. You couldn't just have that sort of channel because they're kind of representing their channel and their sort of uh, the, the guys that follow them. No disrespect to them. You know what I mean? They are fans. I ain't knocking them, but yeah. I think you need a few, maybe. 12, 12 sort of people to sit in a room, proper fans, season to go, there's a mixture of all, to sit there and discuss with Cronkley what, what should be going on, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think the trouble with someone like that, they would just put their own views forward, you know, mm. or their programme, Alex. It would be a bit kind of biased. But yeah. uh, I'm sure they would come up with some good ideas because whatever people say, they are fans. Well, let, let's be honest, John. You've got three legend. You've got three geniuses sitting here. <laughs> you know what I mean, we just, we just, we just don't like. We don't like the shout about it, brother. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> well, well, that's it. We're all. Everyone's a fan. Everyone's entitled exactly. to their view, aren't they? Do you exactly. know, there's so yeah. many different people out there that are fans. They've got a worldwide base now. Years ago, when when we went Ivory, it was just. The locals, you know what I mean? Exactly. And, you know, yeah. Outsiders. Yeah. I'm global it's, now. It's a massive, it's a global fan base now. So it's yeah. really well, hard. To I was going to say, look, look at the fan base in Florida. Them stadiums oh, were exactly. packed. Them exactly. stadiums exactly. were packed. I'm getting, I'm getting worried that Stan's going to ship them out there now, mate. Only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Yeah, I could see that happening. We'll be called the LA Gunners. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I've got to end this one. I've got to end this one. Uh, uh, Des, again, thank you for, for making a long way to return. Um, thank you. Can I, can I just do one quick shout-out? Can I do yeah, one go, quick shout-out? 
Yep. If you want to hear me ramble on a bit more and talk a load of rubbish and maybe a little bit of sense, uh, I do another one with a load of guys called um, Guna Matters. So oh, yeah. if you want to... Uh, Glenwyn, you know Glenwyn well, don't you? Um, yeah. Yeah. If you want to come along and watch us on there, the support would be great and it would be great to see you on there. And Alex, thank you so much for having me on with, the, no with John the Geezer. Because I now I know I've got up the enforcers, you know, thing. Because he's, you know, he's he's put me on another level. So fa- <laughs> thanks for that. It's been an absolute pleasure to have a chat with you both. And That's thank you very fun. much for having me. So, Same. so that is it. I've just seen a comment from from uh, CM War Games. We're not doing uh, a watch along. Um, I'm not even sure whether my brother's going to be doing anything this evening. So nothing after the Easter. I'm just going to sit down, relax. If I can relax and watch the game, Crystal Palace versus Arsenal, 8 p.m. kick off. And that is it. I will, I will be back. I will be back tomorrow morning. Do some more. Baby, in our glory. Baby, in our glory. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord save us. <laughs> Until then, this has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans, literally all over this world. Come on. <laughs>